Is the MERS stack really worth learning in 2024 or someone sold you a big fat lie? This is the question that I'm gonna try to answer for you because I have been receiving a couple of comments here and there addressing this problem and in fact recommending other stacks that are not the MERS stack. They're recommending C Sharp, they're recommending Java, they're recommending PHP. And I want to help you out with making the right decision when it comes to this because choosing your stack is not the end of your life and it's not gonna really matter but it's gonna save you some time in the long run if you make the right decision okay so let's get into it a lot of people like to hate on the merge stack if you don't know what the merge stack is is mongo express node and react and this is pretty much the javascript ecosystem and a lot of bootcamps are teaching this but there are other bootcamps who are not teaching this. They are teaching Java, they are teaching uh, C Sharp, C++, .NET. But there was a video from a popular YouTuber in the tech space that uh, addressed this problem, right? Because a lot of people know about the Merge stack and the question that everyone has on their mind is how do I stand out? How do I stand out if everyone else that is a junior or tries to become a junior knows the same thing as me. Let me tell you how you're not standing out. You're not standing out by changing the stack. It seems like a very easy scapegoat. Oh, I'm not getting hired because uh, an influencer or a bootcamp told me to learn the Merge stack. And it's their fault, it's not mine. Look, I am personally not really teaching the Merge stack in my program. So again, I, I want to tell you this just so you can see how I think about this rather than me promoting my program to you, okay? So I'm a front-end developer, okay? I don't like the back-end at all. But I had to introduce some sort of back-end solution because the application that we are building at the end of the program, which is a team project, which is a project that has been in development for the past year, needs a back-end, okay? So we cannot use free APIs. We need our own server. We need our own database. So I had to make a decision. Do I take these people that know JavaScript and TypeScript and Next.js and React, tell them to learn a new programming language like Java, like Python, like C++, or do I keep them in the same ecosystem and get them up to speed with building a backend so then they can understand the bigger picture of how to build an application? You can choose any language you want. I don't care personally, it's your decision what language you choose, okay? I'm not gonna try to prescribe you what language to choose because I want this to be your fault. If you choose something wrong, it's gonna be your fault. If you choose something right, it's gonna be your fault as well, okay? I want you to choose a language that's gonna allow you to be productive as fast as possible, okay? I want you to forget about competition. I want you to forget about how to stand out because that's not important at this point in time. It's not the language that makes you stand out. What you make with the language helps you stand out. When you'll choose a language like Java, which is way older than JavaScript, it's way more popular. In fact, there are 10 times more jobs for Java developers on the backend compared with Node.js developers. So you can check that out. I actually put that in a video a while ago, I think two months ago. When you'll switch to Java, you'll notice that your competition is gonna be different. You'll start to compete with people that have been using Java for the past 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And now what do you do? When you choose Java, it's not like you'll finally get into the magic land of unlimited jobs for junior developers. I don't know who puts this stuff in your head, who taught you to think in this way, but it's not the right way. The grass is not greener on the other side, it's greener where you water it. Again, I'm not trying to convince you to learn the MERS stack, okay? But I can guarantee you that if you build something with a Node.js server, which is like stupid and dumb and everyone does it. And then you have front end as well with React, which is stupid and dumb and everyone does it. But that thing that you're building has a use case and it's not just a calculator or a weather app or something like that. You'll actually stand out because if you switch the language, but you still have no knowledge around how to use the language to become productive and how to actually solve real world problem, problems, you'll just end up having a fancy language on your resume without any experience solving real world problems. I, I need you to understand that everyone in this tech world that you are watching 
is very much a nerd and that's okay and they're obsessed with their job programmers they program all day blah 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 but you're not that person yet your strong suit is coming in with something that is different aka building some sort of solution for a problem i want you to come in thinking that you are an entrepreneur that is solving your problem or someone else's problem and the technology doesn't matter hope you understand the fact that i don't care what language you use if you'll come to work with me i'm going to teach you html css javascript react typescript next.js then node express mongodb will probably switch to a sql database and will probably switch to java in the future okay i'm still assessing that but you still build stuff at the end of the day it all boils down to this i have started my business years ago and i didn't have a website okay and i started making my first thousands of dollars teaching this stuff without a website without a logo i don't even have a logo right now you know what i mean like if you go on my website click the first link in the description you'll see that i don't have a logo that thing the fav icon is the one that i got with the template and at the same time the reason why i'm telling you this is because other people try to do the same thing as me but they, nev ne they never focused on actually making money and delivering value to their customers and they spend months and months trying to build a beautiful website with wigs and whatever they had they spend all their money on logos but it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is can you do the job and do you have proof that you can do the job that's all that matters look if you just want to be a front-end developer you still need a backend but you can use something like firebase to help you out with your database with your server you don't even need to know a server side language okay you don't need to just build something that is good you don't need to come up with a design by yourself you can pay a designer you can buy a template you guys are overthinking this so much in exchange for all your overthinking you are getting nothing back putting your your mind into this online drama and you're watching all these youtube videos that are getting you scared that are abusing your emotions really because that's what's happening you're not learning on youtube you're not getting new tips you're just using your emotions and you're losing your focus for what just to get someone a new click so now to promote myself i'm gonna get you job ready in nine months or less if not i'm gonna get you your money back and five thousand dollars for wasting your time click the link in the description just to see what that is about if you like this video please like it it's gonna help me out with the algorithm if you have anything to add on top of this leave a comment share your uh, opinion tell me why node.js is not a great idea tell us why java is a great idea or c++ or php and i'll see you in the next one peace out